Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are back in the hardcore world. All right, before we start, I just gotta address one thing. I mentioned Prod5 in the last episode and Prod5 is not a thing. Someone told me it was and I believed them. So yeah, I was, I was a bit confused too, but my bad, that is that issue resolved. All right, next up, we got the last two donators. Dan the Man, you are officially the highest donator on my channel. 597 USD, that's pretty crazy. And also Tracy Reynolds, thank you for the 99 cents. So that is gonna be it for the donator thingy. No more science will be put up here. All right, so I'm gonna go quickly get a new shovel and Bruh. make it efficiency four, unbreaking three, and mending. But before we do that, I wanna show you one little thing I added. So it's really subtle, you can barely see it, but there are some glowstone underneath those chests. Just to give it a little bit more light, I think it adds a nice touch to it. All right, I'm gonna grab some emeralds and some books, and we are gonna go trade for the right things we need to get this god shovel. So I'm just gonna grab, that should be enough emeralds, 64 plus 47, and then books. I'm gonna need some books. All right, this is kind of annoying. So this episode, we are gonna be transferring all of our storage over to that base over there. So then we won't have to be constantly coming back here, and yeah, we'll just be working more on the base today. I also wanna think about what my next build is gonna be. Last episode, we did the Enderman farm. Write some ideas down in the comments below. All right, now that we're here, we need Unbreaking 3. Let's buy one of you. Thank you. And also, Efficiency Thank 4. Thank you. There we go. And I'm pretty sure our Mending Villager... Wait, he just leveled up. Oh, uh, Knockback 1. Okay, it's kind of useless. I don't think we're ever going to really need Knockback. All right, we got to find that Mending Villager now. Where is he at? Oh, I think I just saw him. Yep, he should be right in here. This should be the Mending guy. Yep, it Thank is. You. Okay, let's buy that. Now we have all the components we need to get a God Villager... Or, god shovel what am i saying not not god villager man all right let's head back over to the base and let's put all of these things together oh wait one thing i forgot to get a shovel all right i'm back i have a shovel now so i think we're ready to get started so let's put efficiency four on here mending actually let's put mending on the last one because it probably will look better efficiency four unbreaking three mending diamond shovel there we go we don't need we don't need this trash piece of tool now oh, that is not Bruh. All right, I don't need you anymore. So yeah, I think we're good now. Let's test out how fast the thing digs. I'm going to dig out part of this place because I'm going to have to replace all this stuff with new flooring anyway. I don't know why I didn't get this earlier. Kind of stupid on my part, but it's all right because we got it now. I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go sort out all this stuff over to my new base. Oh, who's shooting me? Oh, there you are. All right, anyway, yeah, this is going to be a pain. I've got all of these chests over here to sort too. I just like dump random stuff in here sometimes. There's gonna be a lot of things to sort. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I'm also gonna need some item frames. I think I'm gonna use item frames to label what the chests are gonna be. All right, so here's a little update. I've been doing this for about two days now and it's taking a lot longer than I expected. I moved most of our main stuff over, but there's still a bunch of random chests that just have completely random items like this that I'm gonna have to be sorting, which is gonna be super annoying to do, but I'm gonna have to do it anyway. But at least now we're a lot more organized. We got everything sorted in to their very own chests i don't know where ink sacks should go i might put ink, i think i'm gonna put ink sacks in miscellaneous because i'm really not sure yeah um i'm having tons of fun just sorting through everything right now so i'll catch you guys back when i'm finished up with everything finally i finished moving everything all of my storage including my books up there over to the brand new storage it's great to see all of these chests empty, somewhat empty. I, I left some like random stuff in here that I don't think I'm ever going to need really. But yeah, all these chests are now empty. We've got nothing inside of this. Our new base just has everything we need. And I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can to access all this stuff. Just so it's super easy to grab my materials and just go. And also, I need to get an armor over here because this gold armor on the outside doesn't look good. I want to have some like diamond armor or something. And then we got our ores here. This is the other good items. These are potions. This, you might be wondering, what is this? These are the books. And this might seem dumb to you guys, but this up arrow means like the good books. The, the books that I'll actually be using, like efficiency four, unbreaking three. These are the good books that I'll actually be using. And then the down arrow means just books that I won't be using, but I still have like power one, protection one. I'm never going to use those. Up here, we got our food. We got our weapons, tools. We have our redstone stuff there. We have prismarine shards and all that stuff. Prismarine blocks over here. Flowers, oh, that is not flipped the right way. Flowers, seeds, decorations. That is miscellaneous, that is mob drops. We got wood, random building blocks up here. This is quartz, that's glass. This is dirt. Since I had a bunch of stuff scattered around in many chests, I wasn't really organized back there. I didn't realize how much stuff I actually had. Like, this is all my stone. I have tons of stone. And I think that's about it. That's about it for our storage system. I still have tons of room to expand, as you guys can see. Lots of open chests right here. Like, a lot of things we can do. 
day 330 and I want to make one of those brewing station kind of things. I feel like that would fit nicely in our new base and plus we would have access to pretty much every potion we would ever want. I checked up on our blaze rods but we only have seven so that means we're gonna have to go back into the nether and grind out a bunch of blaze rods. The nether is not a place I like to be. Traversing through the nether was all right, it wasn't too bad. There were a lot of poglins and piglins around me, but it was pretty simple. Now I just need to locate a blaze spawner and then I can start farming. Here are some wither skeletons. I gotta be careful of these guys because the wither effect can be pretty much lethal to me. Oh, here we go. We found a blaze spawner. So I think it is probably good to start farming these guys. As you guys are watching a time lapse of me gathering up blazes, I just want to throw in a random fact. Right now, it is October 20th. There is a snowstorm warning. We literally have like four inches of snow outside and it's supposed to be heavily snowing for the next couple of hours. Didn't really believe that we were going to have a snowstorm in October, but yeah, you know, I live in Minnesota. It is what it is. Also, I actually used up one of my totems. I didn't realize that a skeleton was hitting me from behind, so I was kind of confused how I went from like 8 hearts to 2 in like 3 seconds, but it's alright because I was chilling. Yeah, I don't know whether I should be using a shield or a totem because totems can completely save my life, but shields are also really good at just deflecting damage completely. So I gathered up enough blaze rods so that hopefully I don't have to come back here in the near future. This should be enough to last me a while. I really need to get looting on my sword. I don't think I have it. Yeah, I don't have looting. Looting would be so useful though, because farming blaze rods without looting on it was just completely terrible. It just sucked. Yeah, without looting, it took me like two-ish days to only get 44. So hopefully I can figure out a way to get looting pretty soon. I'm kind of lost. Wait, where am I? Next up on my list is to choose where I'm going to be building this, and I think I found a good spot. I want to build this brewing area back here behind my... This breaks super fast. Okay, anyway, back here behind my storage system, just along this wall, I think it would be a pretty nice place to have my brewing supplies i don't really know what the flooring should be what does polished granite look like okay that's kind of ugly not gonna lie let's see what other blocks we have here and yeah, the more that i'm looking at it the more i don't like it anymore Ooh, i actually like that how do we make quartz bricks i think we need a stone cutter oh yeah that reminds me i gotta place some crafting items up on top of these things like um i'm probably gonna put a stone cutter up here maybe like i don't know an armor stand or something just for some decoration to make it look pretty nice now that I got my stone cutters in place, I can finally take these blocks of quartz and put them inside the stone cutter, which gives me quartz bricks. It's just that simple. I didn't know it was that simple. But now that I have all these quartz bricks, I can go and fill up the rest of the flooring. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. While I was in the nether, I actually shot my crossbow and I got the old Betsy achievement. Personally, I don't really like using crossbows, so sorry crossbow fans. Hopefully you don't get too offended. But yeah, last night there were a bunch of creepers and spiders while I was working down here on the base and it was just really not safe at all. So I put down a bunch of torches. I know it might not have lit up the whole thing, so mobs still might be able to spawn. It's okay, it should decrease the spawn rate at least. But yeah, time to check out our new flooring. So pretty much I have just a bunch of white quartz bricks down on the ground and then I didn't know what to do for lighting so I have stairs facing inward to a glowstone piece. So I think that provides good enough light for us. And now I don't really know how to do this, but I'm going to try setting up like a brewing station. By the end of the day, I had a pretty cool looking simple brewing stand set up ready to go. So I don't have all the materials in their right places yet, but I will be moving things over here pretty soon. So right here in this chest, we got our glass bottles. This is a waterlogged block so I can make water bottles. And right here, we got our nether warts, our locally grown nether warts. I don't have a nether wart farm right now, but I want to make a nether wart farm pretty soon. Probably somewhere in this base, just so we have a really easy way of getting nether warts. Next up, this is going to be our main ingredient section. The main ingredient we add to our potion to make the potion what it is. And then right here, we are going to have our gunpowder and redstone. Um, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I will fix it if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure gunpowder makes it splash and redstone makes it like more of an effect. Like it will turn harming one into harming two. It's either redstone or glowstone. I really don't remember. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but I will be sure to fix that. But yeah, that is our very simple setup, and I'll place a chest right here at the very end, just so we have a place to store our finished potions before moving. Actually, wait, we can just move them into here. I need to put um, item frames on the back of these so I know what these are, but we have our potion chest right there, so I guess I don't really need that. It is now the next day, and there is something that I want to quickly address. I haven't really talked about this in a while, but I tamed a dog back in the first 100 days, I'm pretty sure. And he's been sitting here without a name, so I think it is finally time to name him. I'm also going to move him too. He hasn't moved, and I don't think I've like fed him either, so pretty sorry for that dog, but he will be getting a better life pretty soon. Alright, first let's name him. I gotta think of a name for this dude. 
All right, super simple name, Cooper. Probably a super basic name too. We're just gonna name him that. I couldn't really think of anything else. All right, well, your name is now Cooper. Follow me, I'm gonna bring you to your brand new home. Also, I don't know if there's any way for this dude to like move around because I want him to be free. Well, I also don't want him following me 24 seven because I could get him killed. So I'm not sure if I can let him free. So he might just have to be sitting most of his life, but I mean, now he lives in a better environment. I'll be sure to make some sort of, I don't know, playpen for him. That'd be a cool idea. First, I want to dye his color green. That looks pretty sick. All right, very first pet we have on this series. More will definitely be coming soon. Hey, he likes those brewing stands over there. Next up on my list, I think an armor and maybe a toolsmith would be nice. So I didn't mention this, but down here, I opened up this thingy a couple days ago. So hopefully, yeah, I opened up that thing a couple days ago. We should have a lot more villagers down here now. Oh, what? Where did all these carrots come from? Oh, wait, was that, was it from... Don't, okay, I don't even know. Probably came from that dude somehow. Don't know how it ended up down here. But yeah, it looks like we got a lot of villagers down there. So let's just break this open and just let like all them free. All right, you guys can all come through. That's enough. Yeah, now we have a lot more. Okay, I think I'm ready now. I got a stack of emeralds, a stack of iron. I think I'm ready to trade with this dude to get him to max. Oh wait, are you guys breeding? What's going on between you two? Explain, please. Oh, where are the carrots coming from? Who has carrots? There's no way that dude is throwing carrots down here, right? What's going on? All right, I'm getting too distracted. Let's let's actually do this. So I'm gonna need a lot of these leggings, a lot of these helmets. Oh wait, I, I'm using a ton of emeralds. I forgot I didn't. I gotta get this dude cheap. All right, kind of forgot about that. Just gonna keep on going anyway. It didn't take long for me to reach up to his diamond armor trade. And now it was time to move him up with the rest of the guys in the trading station. It took a lot of fiddling with him, but I eventually got him up to the top where he should be. So now everything is looking good. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing me doing all this busy work, so I pretty much just got another toolsmith up here. It took a pretty long time, but yeah, I got him up here, gave him a bunch of emeralds, and he gave me a bunch of axes back that I'm just gonna end up throwing away. But yeah, it's pretty nice now that we got two of these dudes up here. Alright, anyways, now that we have those two dudes in there, I think it is time to turn those guys into zombies. So I'm gonna need one splash potion of weakness and two golden apples. Okay, last two golden apples, time to go fly back. You know what, I think it'd be really cool now that I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to extend- oh, we're going down way too fast. I kind of want to extend that path right there to go all the way around, maybe hook over to those farms and go over to my new base. I think that would look pretty nice. Maybe another day, kind of too lazy to do that right now. All right, let's lower these dudes down so the zombie can do its work. Let's check on this sugarcane farm. Okay, it's actually not quite full, but I think I might just stop it where it is. I'll just get rid of that torch so the minecart stops, and then I'll just put the torch down here. Because, like, this is enough sugarcane. I don't know if we're ever going to need this much. But yeah, if I ever want to reactivate it, all I got to do is put that redstone torch back, and it should reactivate. Oh, yeah, we got to move the beacon over, too. All right, are these guys zombies? Yes, they are. Okay. Golden apple, golden apple. There we go. Come back in five minutes. Those guys should be already up and cured. I also need a bedroom in my new base because I can't be just sleeping on my old base still. I have to make some sort of like living area. Not sure where I'm going to do that yet, but for now, I think I'll just be sleeping inside my old base. Day 336 was all about moving the beacon over to our brand new base. I think I'm also going to go with a light blue glass on top of it just so it gives it a blue tint. I think that would match the vibe of our new base pretty well. Um, and I think I was right. I actually really like this light blue beacon. I've never seen a light blue beacon before. But yeah, we go down here. We got all of our beacon stuff. We're going to be breaking this prismarine stuff as well. And just filling it up with normal flooring. I don't know what to do for the whole flooring. You guys should leave some suggestions down in the comments below. Because I think if we just did one huge floor of the exact same material, it could get pretty boring. So I want to make it somewhat interesting not too boring to look at like maybe this section could be like this white stuff and another section could be something else who knows we'll figure it out as we go anyway guys we're back at the villager trading hall we haven't done some trading in a while so i think it's a pretty nice time to do some trading right now since we just got our two new villagers ready cured and good to go All right, just finished up the training for the day and we walked out with a bunch of good equipment. All right, time to go back to the base. And there we go, we have our full set of diamond right here on the outside and it's looking pretty cool. We also got these two random efficiency three pickaxes, just gonna throw those away. One little quick thing I wanna mention, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. But I want you guys to drop some ideas down below for names for the shovel and the axe. Similar to what we did with the pickaxe and the sword, I will be picking two lucky winners to have their name ideas on here. Oh yeah, also I made some armor stands and I just want to grab some iron armor really quick. Oh, we have no iron boots. I guess I'm gonna have to go craft some. Alright, two boots and I'm just gonna put these on these guys like that. 
Uh, actually, I don't know about the iron armor, but maybe a different armor. I'm gonna keep it for now. Just a little bit of decoration on the sides. I'll have some other things here as well, maybe. I don't really know what to put on there now. Okay, so I finally decided what I want this corner to be. I want this to be like the farming kind of area. These two places, I don't really know yet. One of them is probably going to be for a living, but I don't know if I'm going to need that big of a space just for like a living quarters kind of place. So I want you guys to drop some ideas down in the comments below. What should these two sections be? All right, anyway, on to the farm over here. I'm going to start it off with a very simple nether wart farm just along the edge like this. And now I can actually say that I have locally grown nether wart to provide for my brewing place over there. Well, anyway, I'm thinking of having pretty much every type of farm in here. Maybe more for looks and not just for practicality. Oh, I should actually line this thing all the way around. I don't know if I have enough soul sand on me to do that. I think that would look pretty cool if I lined it up all the way around the edge of this section. Wait, did you guys realize this? Every time you place down a soul sand block, it makes like a howl or like moan kind of noise, like a ghost. Like, do you guys hear that? I never really knew that. Hopefully we can get a farm going of almost every single plant in the game. That'd be cool, just in our own base. All right, so day is 339 to day is 340. I spent AFKing up at my prismarine farm because we needed a lot more prismarine because I realized that it's actually kind of expensive. So I'm just gonna sit here AFK and hopefully I won't have to come back here for a long time if I just get everything that I need right now. All right, I think we're good to go now. I have a full inventory and two- So, oh, whoa, ran right into the lava right there. Was not paying attention. Okay, as I was saying, I have a full inventory and also a full, two full shulker boxes, actually. I made a brand new shulker box just so I have more space to transfer items. All right, finally back at base. Time to put all of our materials back. Okay, so I don't know how long this video is, but it's been taking me so long to record this. I've probably been recording for six seven, or seven hours or so. It's been, it's been taking a while. All right, now that we got all that sorted out, I think we are chilling. I don't know where to put this shulker box. I think I'm just gonna put it in this chest right here. This chest, I can't aim, okay. I'll put these two shulker boxes inside there. All right, yeah, this video has been more of just cleaning up stuff. We moved everything over to our brand new base, got a sick beacon over there, got some more villagers, and also started work on our farm and our new base. We just did a lot of just basic things and pretty boring things, so I'm super sorry about that. But hopefully next episode, we'll be moving on to more interesting things, maybe starting off a new project and all that cool stuff. Alright, well anyway, since this video has gotten way too long for me, it is time to do the common shoutout, and today's common shoutout winner goes to the Neocubist. Hey yo, I saw you commented on my last episode, had to give him the shoutout. But yeah, there we go, congratulations on winning the episode 16 shoutout. So we finished this first layer of signs, so I think next up we're gonna be- Oh wait, should we have some signs back here? I completely forgot about this. And I don't really want to, let's just do the in inside signs. So I think it's time to move up onto the second layer. Yeah, well anyway guys, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Next episode, we're probably gonna be starting up a new project, doing some more interesting things in this world. But just let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below. I'm always open to new ideas and new fun things to try. Oh, I forgot about the sheep farm, man. I'm gonna do this one day, bro. I always forget, but it's just a low priority since we don't really we don't really need this at all right now. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. We're gonna end it off in the air. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, so you never miss an upload. Yeah, well, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.